Well, if you want to see superstar treatment, be a World War II vet, or at least hang out with one in St. Mary Iglesias. We did that. Irving Locker, 94, came on the beaches of D-Day, and he made his way through this town. You talk about a rock star. And then he met a gentleman named Phil from Belgium, a man who looked up his picture online because, you see, Mr. Locker helped liberate his country. Incre incredible tribute here. Take a look. And this one, please. Uncle Irv, let, let me hold it so you I can sign it. I don't know why he's not doing it. All right? I got it. Appreciated okay. you are, and uh, you're like a rock star. Absolutely wonderful. I went in on D-Day, went through the Battle of the Bulge, stopped at the Elbe River, then I went into Berlin. Really? So I'm very, very happy. I'm 94 years old, and I'm happy, happily married to a beautiful lady for 70 years. Unbelievable. So, How are you? I'm makes me very happy. Proud of him? very proud. I got the best guy in the world. For 70 years I've had to keep this. I'm sorry, but my English is very, very tall, but uh, okay. it's, it's an honor for me to, to have the, his picture. It's uh, to keep the memory alive. Sure. From the, there's a guy and other, it's uh, for, for liberated my, my country in the war and uh, it's, a, it's a great honor for me to honor him. And the tributes like this are what keep the memories alive and what everyone here is saying is so important. It is truly a superstar's welcome. We will continue our coverage all day, all night from Normandy as the 75th anniversary of D-Day is right around the corner.